Okay YouTubers, it's uh, Tuesday the 25th, um, time for a little bit of physics fun. I've been meaning to get round to doing this little video for some time actually. Um, it's this little bird, um, I call it the moments bird, I show it to your 11 um, every, every year in fact. Um, so let's just have a think about what we've got, it's really simple actually, it's just a plastic pyramid, okay, it's a bird and the bird has an uneven mass should we say. So it has two big masses at the front and a big mass at the rear. And then it has this little pointy nose. It's like a pivot point. Now I can put it on there or I can actually just literally hold it on my finger and let it move around. Hold on, it's like this. So I can literally hold it here. If I spin it, you can see where the pivot point is. Or we can put the little guy on here and we can see what happens. So. In physics, centre of mass, sometimes referred to as a balance point, is a unique point where the weighted relative position of a distributive mass sums to zero. So what we're meaning is, in the case of a single rigid body, so I may be thinking more something square, or here we go, this batch is an example of a solid body, um, you could draw lines across and find the centre of it, couldn't you? And that's where the mass and the um, centre of weight would, would be. Um, the centre of mass might be located outside of a physical body, so if we've got a toroid, a donut, a hollow shaped object, maybe a horseshoe. Um, so this is kind of that kind of idea. Um, it could be in the case of a distribution of separate bodies such as planets of the solar system that the centre of mass may not correspond to the position of any individual member of that system, so it could be somewhere in space. But in terms of the bird, that centre of mass is at the tip, the nose, so we've got this little tip here where all of the moments are acting. Okay, so that's why we've got to think moments. So you could ima draw an imaginary line across here, couldn't you? Like a dotted line, I could put my pencil that way. And what we're saying is, is that there's a mass here, isn't there? So there's a, there's a, there's a force acting here, down, and it's acting a distance away from the nose of the bird, like that. Now that's counterbalanced with a force acting from the tip here and the tip here, so there's two tips isn't there? So if I do, do my dotted line out here, we've got a distance and a force down. And you've got from the dotted line here, a distance and a force down. So those two moments here, two acting this way, balance the tail that way. So we've got clockwise moments, balancing anti-clockwise moments for a object in equilibrium. You can see my little bird here, the little guy's in total equilibrium, so we can spin around that wheel that way, but we're not getting any turning forces that are going round this way, so clockwise or anti-clockwise, because they're acting in balance. So there you go, so you've seen the little bird, the uh, moment's bird.